I really like this visual because it's short and sweet and it's just looking at a snapshot. So I'm going to go real quick through this video with you as I go quickly through everything, unfortunately. Um, but if you're looking at angles 1 and 12, angles 1 and 12, it just wants me to name that transversal. So I can cover this up. And these are my two lines, and my trans transversal is line L. So line L is going to be my transversal. If I'm looking at angles 3 and 6 here, well, J becomes my transversal, line J. If I'm looking at 7 and 15, my transversal is line M. And if I look at 12 and 14, my transversal is line K. So hopefully you can see um, how easy it is to identify those transversals. If not, always, of course, come and see me. Um, you have lots of examples of corresponding angles here. Um, you have tons, really. So if you wanted to look at um, line L being your transversal, angle 3 and angle 11 would be corresponding. Um, I could look at uh, line M as my transversal, and angle 6 and angle 14 would be corresponding. I could look at line K as my transversal, and 12 would be corresponding to 16. I can, I, and you can pick as many as you want. I'm just going to stick to J because it's in my line of sight. And I'm going to say 5 and 13. And I'm going to say 8 and 16. Um, alternating into here, again, you have many, many you can choose from. Um, 2 and 11 are alternating interior. 6 and 15 are alternating interior. 8 and 13 are alternating interior. 4 and 9 are alternating interior. I could even go to J and 3 and 6 would be alternating interior, 4 and 5, 11 and 14, 12 and 13. you got tons to choose from. Same thing with alternating exterior. 5 and 16, angle 7 and angle 14. I could go over here and I could say angle 1 and angle 12. I could say angle 3 and angle 10. I could look down at transversal K and say that 9 and 16 are alternating exterior. Consecutive interior, again, you have many, many you can choose from. 3 and 5, 4 and 6, uh, 4 and 11, 2 and 9, 6 and 13, 8 and 15, 12 and 14, 11 and 13. It just depends on the transversal you use. You're looking for that transversal, you're making your hamburger, and what's on the same side of that transversal. So angle 11 and angle 13, angle 12 and angle 14, angle 6 and angle 13, angle 8 and angle 15, um, angle 4 and angle 11. Hopefully you can see where I'm getting those. And then consecutive, same side exterior, same thing. 7 and 16, 5 and 14. I could look over here and 3 and 12 are on the same side exterior, 1 and 10. Um, you got many, many you can choose from. So I'm going to go with angle 1 and angle 10, angle 3 and angle 12, angle 5 and angle 14, angle 7 and angle 16. Look at K. I can say that 10 and 16 and angle 16. Um, and then, of course, some non-examples. What, what two don't relate at all? Well, these guys would have nothing to do with these guys because there's no um, line connecting them together. And then these guys would have nothing to do with these guys. So that would be non-examples that you could write down there. So that's just a quick visual that I like. But, you know, you can hear me again.